And staying with the Mobile Bridge Talks, here's something else many are asking. Is it a federal mandate or just a guideline? Well, that's the question regarding the state's plan to build a new bayway that would rise much higher above Mobile Bay than the current structure. Yeah, a federal official told Fox 10 News on Friday that elevating the bayway isn't actually a requirement. Our investigative reporter Brendan Kirby has been looking into this part of the story. Brendan? Well, Byron and Lanise, Alabama Department of Transportation officials have suggested that their hands are tied when it comes to a $350 million component of the proposed bridge and bayway project. $350 million is what it would cost to remove the current bayway and build the new one at a higher elevation. ALDOT Director John Cooper has given slightly different explanations about the elevation requirement. Here he is talking to me last month. In the end, where everybody has come down on that is that the rule requires that if a new bridge structure is built, it uh, will be built above the 100-year storm surge level. Cooper noted then that bridges in Florida, Mississippi, and Louisiana have been damaged by storms in recent years. The Mobile Bayway has avoided catastrophic damage, but Hurricane Katrina in 2005 did cause damage to the ramps. While you can debate the issue of whether you should raise the bayway, no one is prepared to go forward without raising the bayway since that is what the rule says you should do. Here he is talking with me earlier this month. I think the requirement we're talking about is the height. In a meeting with state legislators from Mobile and Baldwin counties last week, though, Cooper said it comes down to interpretation, even if it doesn't explicitly appear in a statute or regulation. It is the law. If the federal official who is determining whether you get a permit thinks it's the law. Cooper referenced a 2008 manual published by the American Association of Highway and Transportation Officials, but that isn't actually a federal regulation. It's a guideline published by a private association of highway transportation officials. Lloyd Brown, a spokesman for the group, told me today those guidelines have no force of law. We've asked federal authorities for more clarification on this issue, but have not heard back. And we're also expecting a written statement from ALDOT, but we haven't received that yet either. Reporting live from the newsroom, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News. And you can watch all of our stories about the Mobile River Bridge and the possible tolls, along with other stories on our YouTube channel. Just look for Fox 10 and subscribe so that way you're notified when we post a new video.